What's up everybody? It is the best spot kids move back with another video as I said I will be Dropping videos in regards to the Xbox one X until the monster launches this Tuesday November 7th so This video I wanted to make real quick I'm not, I'm not gonna give you a, a super list, but there's three pre games in particular. I'd like to see personally uh, enhanced uh, to take advantage of the Xbox one X uh, some may do it automatically due to due to dynamic scaling or unlock frame rates But it'd be nice to see uh, particular games uh, that I've played in the past uh, to get uh, Re-enhanced you no know, enhanced for the Xbox one X whether it be 4k HDR uh, 4k whatever they want to call it um, and um, improved frame rates, whatever um, there's uh, I want to say there's three particular games that I played in the last three to four years that I was just in awe with when it came to visuals, when it came to, came to gameplay, and and these games are probably likely won't get re-enhanced for anything for the Xbox One X, but man, if they did, it would be freaking awesome. First game I really want to start with on this list is, um, I want to start with Rise Son of Rome. Now, Rise Son of Rome was a launch title for the Xbox uh, One in 2013. Easily the best looking game on the console that year. Actually, arguably one of the best looking games of that you know time, like in general, for like, the, it, it took some years before a better looking game uh, came to uh, trumpet visually. So the thing about Rise in the Rome, it, uh, I remember it being uh, downgraded to, uh, it's pixel, pixel count being downgraded um shortly before release it, it came in at like 900p in like 32 frames per second or 31 frames. it was it was a weird frame it wasn't like a, a set 30 but the frame rate had issues so it, it it maxed out at like 31 32 and it it went all the way down to like you know i think into the teens in some cases so um it was a, it was a looker it was a great looker uh the game was very generic uh, the story I thought was dope. The gameplay I thought it was fun, but graphically it was just amazing to show off the power of the Xbox One, even at 900p. Now, of course, a game like Rise in a Rome, uh, there was no HDR gaming uh, at the time of release, and 4K had no business being talked of in console. Of course, 4K was available on PC, so that's why the best place to play Rise in a Rome was the PC. Now, looking at Rise of Rome specs, the re recommended specs, the Xbox One X should be able to deliver Rise of Rome, Rise of Rome at 60 frames per second, 4K, possibly. It should actually, I'm 4K 60 frames per second. The recommended specs uh, are lower on this game um, to on PC. Than what uh, Destiny is to get at 60 frames per second, what Destiny uh, 2 is. So, if Xbox One X, from a tech standpoint, can run Destiny 2 at 60 uh, frames per second, Rise of the Roam can easily be done at 4K 60 frames per second. Now, I understand due to compatibility issues and the fact that uh, there is an online available for this and you can play with Xbox One players, obviously, the frame rate. Uh, probably won't be an option at least for a multiplayer, but it should be an option for uh, the single uh, single player campaign if uh, Microsoft or <laughs> I know Crytek really isn't around much um, So that's why this is like more of a pipe dream Definitely more of a, a, a pipe dream here uh, This is that's why it's less likely to happen for rise in the Rome to get enhanced But it would be nice to see rise in the Rome get enhanced 4k uh, 60 frames per second and HDR. I mean, Rise in the Rome was very diverse in its setting. It had a lot of, uh, there were sections where it displayed a lot of colors, uh, the outside environments, and you could see in some areas where the sun could really shine and the colors could uh, really splash out at you, and the texture count can really freaking, uh, the, the pixel count would really like kind of just stand out. And for it to be Xbox One X enhanced, it would be freaking amazing. Is it likely to happen? No. Even though I wish somebody, I, I don't know if Microsoft owns the IP. I know that was the big question. If Microsoft owns the IP, they can have actually someone go and do it like how they did Quantum Break. Remedy probably had um, no desire to go back and re-enhance um, Quantum Break. That's why rumor has it that it was one person that from the Microsoft team that actually did it. 
on their behalf and Microsoft owns the Quantum Break IP so they were able to make that happen. Which brings me to the next game. Next game I want to speak of that I would love to see get an Xbox One X enhancement 4K HDR is uh, Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive, also another game that was released in 2014 before HDR gaming was a thing, uh, before 4K uh, blew up for actual console gaming or anything like that. So think about Sunset Overdrive. It's very, very, very colorful. And I know HDR will make this game pop. This game was a visually impressive game to me. I enjoyed uh, Sunset Overdrive. I thought it was great, thought it was fun, humorous. Uh, the gameplay just kept me amped up. Um, so uh, an upgrade I can see on this game, uh, a 4K, even if they uh, lock, since it's open world, uh, they can lock the frame, uh, frame rate at 30, make it run more stable, but definitely add HDR support. This would be freaking great. The problem with uh, this game is that Microsoft do not own the Sunset Overdrive IP. So chances of a enhancement happening is all up to insomniac games who is busy with spider-man so if some insomniac if you take a break from spider-man the shit ain't dropping until sometime next summer give sunset overdrive a um come on give it an xbox one x enhancement uh give it hdr support 4k i remember when xbox uh, when microsoft um gave developers i think more room to work with the to develop for the xbox one x to add a little bit more power and i remember insomniac using that extra room for particle effects versus upgrading the game from 900p to 1080p some xbox fans were actually upset with that and i didn't understand why i thought the game looked great but everybody was still under the uh 1080p blues that the xbox one x could not provide us in most games so to see sunset overdrive return in 4k and hdr that would be freaking amazing and of course insomnia saying they want to release a sunset overdrive uh two why not why not re-enhance uh sunset overdrive one to prepare people for sunset overdrive two and of course with this xbox play anywhere i don't care if you have to make sunset overdrive one a play anywhere title to to just reignite hype and get a little bit more sales to prepare everyone for sunset overdrive two that would be amazing i would look forward to this and insomniac please go back to enjoy on board add the enhancements for sunset overdrive that would be amazing last game is actually going to be a surprise to you guys uh, this is one of the multiplats I really enjoyed. I had a love-hate relationship with this game. Mafia 3 was uh, one of the games I played in 2016. Um, I beat it. Um, I still haven't touched the DLC uh, to this game. And um, I'm sorry, this game, uh, I stole this video. So that's why you're seeing this God of War bull crap. Um, let's see. That should change. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mafia 3 is... Um, one game I'd like to see uh, enhanced for the Xbox One X because Mafia 3, I don't know what resolution. I'm going to say it was probably somewhere between 720p and 900p on the Xbox One, but that thing looked good. Sure, it was missing some uh, some key animation or features or a level of detail that Mafia 2 brought to the table, but when it came to visuals, Mafia 3 was great. It, it was amazing looking. And this game came out October of 2016. And this game could use a visual boost. Can you imagine Mafia 3 at 4K? I mean, I'm sure people on PC doing it. I don't. I didn't buy Mafia on the, P, uh, the PC. Uh, I'm not even sure how it performed on the PC. But taking this game and um, allowing it to run on Xbox One X with HDR and uh, 4K or hell, if it was running too rampant, 4K, I don't give a damn how you do it. Mafia 3 deserves an Xbox One X enhancement. It really does. Um, the, a game looking this good needs to be shown in its highest uh, fidelity, and Xbox One X can provide that. And hopefully, 2K can come back uh, to the drawing board and um, uh, support Mafia 3 with a 4K um, upgrade on the Xbox One X. I would love to replay it. I probably won't replay the main story, but there are some story uh, DLC that I didn't try out yet, and I would love to do that if it was Xbox One X enhanced. Why not? These are like the three games I would like to see uh, redone uh, for Xbox One. Not redone, but enhanced for the Xbox One X. Tell me, guys, if there's any game that you thought 
Uh, I should have included if there any game that you're looking forward uh, to seeing that uh, Microsoft do or a third party uh, developer do for the X. Uh, we know The Witcher 3 is um, being done, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, I would hope for Battlefield 1 and and, and Star Wars Battlefront one since that was one of one of my uh, favorite games from uh, Dice. So let me know in the comment section uh, what you think. I'm sorry about the little God of War era that uh, came up on the screen. Uh, that was not to troll uh, uh, those fanboys. It was honestly just because the video I got was from like a, a YouTube and um, the playback ended up coming from like the tell in the video. But Mafia Three. Sunset Overdrive, Rise of the Rome, I think all deserve Xbox One X enhancements. Will they get them? Probably not. Um, but it would be nice to see what they do, what they would look like if they were able to do that. All right. But it's kid smooth. Xbox is the best box, and I am the best bot. We out of here. Peace.